Hey YouTube, this is going to be a quick overview of the Wenger Evo 10. Now Wenger is now owned by Victorinox, so in the future they're probably going to have a Victorinox version of this, but these have the this has the old Wenger components, meaning the Wenger style uh, reamer and can opener. Now let's just go through the features really quick. You got a two and a half inch blade, full flat ground, spear point tip. You've got the can opener. You've got the bottle opener with the flathead screwdriver. Uh, you've got the nail cleaner and nail file. You've got the awl, on. and you've got the Phillips screwdriver. This also has a, a tiny set of tweezers and a toothpick in the frame. Okay, so those are all the features in the key ring there. Here's a size comparison with my Spyderco Delica, the ZDP Delica. And I love the convenient, the convenient size and light weight of this Evo 10. I mean, the Delica is not a huge knife by any means. It's, you know, about a three inch blade on a Delica. And this is noticeably smaller than the Delica. So this is super convenient. It, it is just small enough that you could have it on your keychain. And it has the more ergonomic uh, shaped grips as well. Um, very thin. The great thing about this knife is that it has what I call the foundation tool set, meaning the four tools that if you go back to the old, like, World War II government issue pocket knives, you'll find that they had the awl, a can opener, a bottle opener, and the blade. So those four tools are what I call, you know, the historical foundation, so to speak. So it gives you those four tools, and then it gives you a Phillips screwdriver, and it gives you the nail tool, as well as the tweezers, the toothpick. So it gives you the four tools, plus some cool other stuff, especially the Phillips screwdriver. And for a comparison, this is a Victorinox uh, Evo S16. Uh, now this has all the same tools as the 16, but the 16 has those scissors, and the S16 also has a locking blade. All right, so if you don't care about the lock and you don't care about the scissors, you can go with the Evo 10 instead of the 16. You know, the 16, it's got to be a bit thicker, got to be a bit thicker to accommodate those scissors. All right, so there's the Evo 10 in all its glory with all its implements, and you see the, uh, the small tweezers and toothpick there as well. Overall, I think it's a very cool knife. Um, the lightweight and how thin it is, and it's about it's about three and a quarter inches long. Uh, just so easy to carry. It walks the line between pocket EDC and keychain uh, everyday carry. But with its efficient complement of tools, I could certainly see this competing with uh, <laughs> with it with the cadet. You know that that nothing fancy has that video where he he bows down and worships it. And I could see that. I mean, small knives, um, they give you a lot of utility for very little cost. Um, super convenient. So yeah, this would be a great, a great everyday carry utility tool. It looks pretty badass too. Now, that, those coatings, the black wash or blackout coating, those will wear off relatively quickly, okay? So don't get too excited by the um, the Stealth Ninja coating, okay? With daily use, that is gonna rub off uh, quite quickly, but it's still, I mean, it still looks pretty dang cool. You might wanna buy two. I don't think they make this version anymore, although they still have it on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure Victorinox is gonna come out with their Victorinox model, meaning replacing some of the implements with their version, but it'll still be a good blade. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. It's been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.